Well, Dave, thanks so much for speaking to us today. The big question we're asking this week is, will Dillian White ever be a world champion? Um, I think the question a lot of people uh, are asking, will he get a world title fight? Uh, and I think that's closer now than ever. I think now the Walling fight is off. It's um, it's a must. It's a definite. It will happen. Uh, can he win it? I personally don't think he beats Tyson Fury. Um, so if that's who we must fight to win the world title, then the answer to your question will be no. Um, I hope he gets his shot. I wish him all the best with it. I just think he comes up against Tyson Fury with my eyes. is the best heavyweight since Lennox Lewis. So... Um, that's unfortunate for him, but I'm sure he will fancy the job, as will, as will his team, as will his supporters. So it'll be an interesting fight and it'll be a massive one for Great Britain. It's not quite Fury Joshua, but it's pretty big. It was due to be this fight between Dillian and Otto Wallin on October 30th. That's not going to take place now. If you were Dillian, would you try and arrange the rematch or arrange the fight with Otto? Or would you wait around it and hope you can force this fight against Fury? Well, the Fury fight should happen. He's been he's been uh, he's been WBC number one since I was about seven. Apparently, I'm not sure about twenty years or something. So, um, the fight must happen. You know, the the fans want to see it. It's it's one of the biggest fights in the weight boxing. You know, take away Joshua Usyk and Joshua Fury and Fury Usyk. Dylan Dylan White for me is he's one of the biggest names, one of the most popular names out there. You know, and he's, he's a good talent as well. So, Fury White must happen and. Otto Wallin is not a warm-up or a tune-up for anyone, as Tyson Fury found out when they box. So if I'm looking after Dylan White or I am Dylan White, I'm saying Otto, unlucky, mate, but, you know, get, get back in the queue and uh, and try, try and piggyback on a world title fight elsewhere because I'm going to go and fight Tyson Fury now. You've shared a ring with, with Dillian. What have you made of his development over the last few years since that defeat to AJ in 2015? Oh, the improvement has been so vast. You know, we went from... Uh, the defeat to Joshua, and he went and got a proper team around him. He got himself in good shape, got himself in great shape. He boxed back Jordan, he boxed myself, he got St. Louis and Chisora, and he just slowly, slowly and steadily got up the levels and improved. He got wins over Hellenius, Parker, Rivas, you know, Brown. So he's got quite the CV, and um, he was the most improved fighter on the planet at one point, in my opinion. You know, he improved that much, so, you know, you, you can't do nothing but respect him for the, the levels of improvement that he's shown, but... Uh, he had a lot of hard fights, and with all that improvement now, you know, now he's, he's on the other side of 30. He's, on a lot, he's had lots and lots of hard fights. So I think if he ever needs to get that world title shot, it is now. You know, the two should fights tickle out of here. The Rio's fight was hard. The Parker fight was hard. So I'm hoping he gets it sooner than later while, while we've still got him, you know, at the peak of his powers. You mentioned before that you think Tyson Fury is as good as Lennox Lewis. And you, when you look at his resume, it's hard to argue with that. And Dillian, it would be a tough night's to work against Tyson, but but would you give him a chance against, say, the other world champion we have at the moment, Alexander Usyk or Anthony Joshua, if he was to reclaim his belts? Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury, for me, I mean, sparred them both, as well as fighting Dillian, Lewis Ortiz, sparring Anthony Joshua, Vladimir Klitschko. Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk, right? They're not, they're not normal people. These aren't, these are out of world people. These I've never like, I've been in with world class talent, right? And I know when I'm in there, world class talent. When I was in with Oliver and the Usyk and Tyson Fury, it's it's another level, other levels, the levels and levels above everyone else. They're just freak athletes, you know, with with unbelievable boxing ability. The the huge men that can move like welterweights, it's it's unheard of. And but don't know why I think. Alexander Usyk and, and, and Tyson Fury, the, these two, they're on, they're on another level to everybody. You know, Anthony Joshua, John Terry Wilder, Dylan White, you know, Glass Van Der Ruiz. I believe they're a little step below. They're, 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 they're a, a, a decent size step below the big two. But, uh, but great great fighting nonetheless, you know. Great fighting nonetheless. And you've got the likes of Daniel Dubois, Joe Joyce. You know, they're all coming to try and, try and join that group as well. But... The world title holders in the minute, Alexander Usyk, Tyson Fury, are levels above everyone else. Levels and levels above, in my opinion. I wanted to ask you, actually, the next question was going to be about the, the rest of the, the British heavyweight scene. Hopefully you'll be back in the mix one day soon. But when you look at the likes of Daniel Dubois and Joe Joyce, they're both well-placed with the WBO and WBA, respectively. Do you see those guys having a, having a really big year next year? Can you see them one day competing for a world title and potentially winning one? 
think even though Joe Joyce beat uh, Daniel Dubois, I would I would favour Daniel Dubois to win a world title one day. But I don't think Joe Joyce will, because I think Joe's coming up with a time with Tyson and uh, Alexander again. You know, Joe now is in mid thirties. If he wants to win a world title, he's enough to beat in the UC because he's enough to beat a Fury, and I don't see it happening. But Daniel, you know, to take the time with him, you know, Tyson and Alexander will be gone. I think Daniel will pick up a world title, where I don't think Joe will. But um, great talent. You've got Nathan Gorman, Fabio Wardley, Alan Babich is Croatian, but, you know, he fights on these shows. So, you know, the domestic division is packed. And obviously, you've got myself. I don't put myself in the same bracket as uh, Daniel Dubois or Joe Joyce and anyone else with world title aspirations. But uh, but it, but it's nice to it's nice to be in... I said, I look at the British top 10. And I see so much world class talent, and I see myself at number ten. And I'm actually very proud because I think I think this is the greatest the greatest time for British weight boxing we've ever had. You know, in the seventies and eighties, we had a lot of great fighters, the sixties, Henry Cooper, Joe Bugner, you know, and lots, lots of other good fighters. But right now, it has never ever been better. You know, we've got three three of our heavyweights in, in Great Britain: uh, Joshua Fury and White, three of the best fighters in the whole world. It's it's unbelievable. For you personally, where do you feel like you're at with your own boxing journey? There's been some incredible highs. I look back at the, the night against Nick Webb at the O2. That was a night I don't think I will ever forget. You had the, the victory over Lucas Brown. You were, you were building up a head of steam with, with Darren Barker at one point. What do you want to do next? Well, I'm as good as I'm as good as whatever side of the bed I wake up on. You know, I've had some I've had some great days, I've had some bad days. On a good day, I think I think I can give anybody a fight. You know, like I say, you know, you've got Tyson Fury and Andy Usyk on a level of their own. The level below that is improving my fights against White and Ortiz and Yoko. I'm not quite at that level. Uh, but uh, domestic level, you know, I beat Nick Webb. I, I beat Nick Webb off the couch, you know. Beat Lucas Brown uh, pretty comfortably. I'm a talent. I'm a, I'm a Lauren to myself. We never know. I'm starting to mature. I'm starting to mature. You know, and like I said, like I was discussed earlier, I'm sleeping less. You know, I'm working harder. So you never know. You never know. I think I think I'm one of them where I may surprise people down the line. I may turn up to a fight one day in fantastic shape, have a good day, and I might surprise everyone. But uh, I, I'm I'm proud and very happy with what I've already achieved, and everything for me will be a bonus. So um, I just hope to enjoy the next few years in boxing, get out of it nice and safe, and and continue to give back with the training and the management that I do. And where do you feel like Alan Babbitt stands in this? He's called you out. I think it would be yeah. a brilliant fight. It's something I think everybody in boxing would love to see. But but do you think that would be the right fight for you now or, or potentially a little bit further down the line? Well, Alan, I speak to Alan quite regularly. Me and Alan are quite good friends. You know, the Savage and the Ryan will probably won't get along. But David and Alan are good friends. So uh, I respect them a lot. He's, he's starting to show now that he is a good fighter. He had amateur fights. And you don't have 100 amateur fights. Fight for your country if you're not a good fighter. So I've got a lot of respect for him. But down the line, I think it's a fight that must happen. You know, Alan Babich and myself would be an incredible fight. You know, we, we have the, the our styles would gel into it wouldn't be beautiful, it would be brutally beautiful. You know, it'd be beautiful in its brutality. You know, there wouldn't be many jabs, there wouldn't be much much skill on display. But you would see two men uh, that that don't want to that don't want to uh, give best. So um, I'm very hopeful it will happen. I throw my hat into boxing. Every time he wins, even when I was retired, I was like, I'll come back and fight him, no problem. Uh, and I, always, I said to all of myself, I look, I don't want to fight you out of dislike. I want to fight you out of respect. So uh, I hope it happens. Alan Babic is one of the reasons why I came back. He is a big reason why I came back, because I, I, I would love to uh, share a ring with him.